Many years ago, I created a series of character designs based on different kinds of sea creatures. They all had unique personalities and designs that were inspired by the creatures they were based on and different facts about them. I'm a big fan of sea creatures and I still love the concept of this series, but they're a little outdated at this point. So I think it's about time to redesign some of these cute little guys. I decided to start with the sea cucumber character because she was originally my favorite and I still think about her more than I probably should. While I was originally pretty proud of this design and I still think it's pretty cute, I didn't want to change her too much, just kind of update her and fix the things that I think could be done a little better. I also wanted to keep her silhouette pretty simple since sea cucumbers are, well, a pretty simple animal. But also, in a lot of the references I found, what seemed to be the most common sea cucumbers had what almost looked like spikes or bumps on them. So I kind of brainstormed some ways to represent that little bit of shape without making her silhouette too complex. I did try out representing the bumpiness by giving her a tucked in shirt and adding a little bit of shape to the bottom of her skirt. But ultimately, I thought this gave her a little too much shape and didn't quite fit with the character's personality. While I ended up keeping her outfit pretty much the same, I did try out a few different options for accessories that might give the feeling of the kind of spikes or bumps, and I played around a little bit more with how and where to put them on her for the finished version. I wanted to keep her hair mostly the same, both because I think it's pretty cute on her and because it really does simulate that really simplistic rounded shape of the sea cucumbers I was going for, but I took the opportunity to also add that kind of spiky look to it. Also, I tried out giving her this cute little tiny ponytail that I think makes her look extra adorable. As for her colors, I wanted to keep them mostly the same, but I did desaturate them a bit, both to be a little bit closer to my reference images and because originally I was working with really limited marker choices that were all pretty vibrant, so some of my characters were a little bit more crazy colored than I may have even designed if I had any colors to choose from. I'm not really sure why I originally went with green for her hair and other details because the references I found really did not have any green in them. Sea cucumbers are mostly just brown, but I think the pop of green in her design does make her stand out more and makes her design a little more interesting. So I didn't want to completely get rid of the green. Instead, I just made it a little more faded, a little more neutral so that it worked better with the brown. Once I had the colors picked out, it was time to draw out the final version of her. Sea cucumbers don't have a lot of maneuverability and are apparently pretty tasty, which makes them very vulnerable prey animals. So this girl is pretty shy and anxious around other fish. There's also a very interesting, if not kind of gross, ability sea cucumbers have to literally expel their internal organs to distract predators while they get away. These organs do completely grow back, which is kind of crazy. As odd of an ability as it is, I did originally give this ability to my character by having her literally have the ability to throw up her insides, which might be kind of weird, but hey, fish are weird. And it was oddly a staple of the character, so I decided to keep that. <laughs> With that in mind, she has a little bit of a sickly appearance, as I guess she gets kind of nauseous when she's anxious. 
which is probably all the time. <laughs> and also, sea cucumbers literally don't have a brain, so she's not the smartest fish in the sea. Despite being kind of dumb and nervous, I think she seems pretty sweet and cute and easy to get along with. I mean, sea cucumbers don't do much, so there's not a lot to dislike her for, right? I did play around with that pom-pom idea a little bit more because I wanted to make sure it made sense as a fashion statement as well as having the shape that I was going for. So I tried two pom-poms next to each other, didn't really like that. So then I tried doing a ribbon with pom-poms on the end of them. And I think this is really cute, but doesn't quite fit the character. It's a little too much specific detail added onto her pretty simple outfit and design overall. I ended up kind of keeping the boots pretty much the same, but I changed their color from the bright green to a brown so that they don't stand out quite as much and they look better with the rest of the outfit. With the design all figured out, I wanted to make her a little bit of a reference sheet to both show her final design and a bit of her personality. Her clothes being not so fitted and possibly a little thrown together, I think does give the feeling of someone who's probably not the most social or popular, and maybe just threw them on really quickly because she doesn't have the brain power to really think about what she's wearing. But at the same time, she has a bit of a cuteness to her, so she's not a completely lost cause. I also used the greens in her design to emphasize that kind of sickly appearance.
I'm pretty happy with this final design. It still has the same kind of feeling as the original character, but I do think I succeeded in improving it a little bit. I think she's pretty adorable, and she's probably gonna remain my favorite. Originally, the character was named Cumber, like Cucumber, but that's not much of a name, and a lot of the other characters I made did have pretty legit names, so it didn't feel right to have her be one of the only ones without a real name. So I decided to change her name to Camille. I think it fits her, but what do you think? This project was a lot of fun, and I can't wait for the next one. The next of these characters I'll be redesigning is the starfish, which was actually the first one I created. So stick around if you want to see that too. Thanks for stopping by my little bear cave, and I'll see you next time.